Hello everybody, welcome to Joyce Daughter of God on Instagram and YouTube. My name is Amy and today it is March 1st, 2024. Happy March everyone. We have made it to a new month. Praise the Lord. Um, today's daily scripture reading is found in John chapter 10. So John chapter 10 and the word says, and Jesus is, you know, Jesus is speaking and Jesus is saying, most assuredly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. And when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Yet they will by no means follow a stranger, but will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. Jesus used this illustration, but they did not understand the things which he spoke to them. Then Jesus said to them again, Most assuredly I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. But a hireling, he who is not the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. The hireling flees because he is a hireling and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and am known by my own. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they will hear my voice. And there will be one flock and one shepherd. Therefore, my father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. This command I have received from my father. Therefore, there was a division again among the Jews because of these sayings. And many of them said he has a demon and is mad. Why do you listen to him? Others said, These are not the words of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? Now, it was the Feast of Dedication in Jerusalem, and it was winter. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Then the Jews surrounded him and said to him, How long do you keep us in doubt? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you. And you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But you do not believe because you are not of my sheep, as I said to you. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and my father are one. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Jesus answered them, Many good works I have shown you for my father. For which of those works do you stone me? The Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we do not stone you, but for blasphemy, and because you, being a man, make yourself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, You are gods? If he called them gods to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. Do you say of him who the Father sanctified and sent into the world? You are blaspheming because I said I am the Son of God. If I do if I do not do the works of my Father, do not believe me. But if I do, though you do not believe me, believe the works that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Therefore they sought again to seize him, but he escaped out of their hand. And he went away again beyond the Jordan to the place where John was baptizing at first. 
and there he stayed. The many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but all the things that John spoke about this man were true, and many believed in him there. Amen. Now, before I get to the index card, um, I didn't put this point in there because, you all, there's just so much to honestly, like, dive deep and unpack in chapter 10. Really, like, all the Bible in John in particular, and then 10. So, it's like, I just skimmed, well, it doesn't seem like I skimmed. I almost feel like I could have rewrote all of chapter 10. But I didn't put this. Um, but as I was reading it, it came, um, it, it stood out to me. So I wanted to share it down here. Verse 12. But a hireling, he who is not the shepherd, one who does not own the sheep, right there, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf catches the sheep and scatters them. Where it says he does not own the sheep, that really stood out to me. Because so many of us end up like following the pastors, the preachers, prophets, evangelists, apostles, whatever the case may be. We end up following them. And like pastors are a shepherd to a sense where, you know, they have a flock, they have a congregation. However, they do not own the sheep. They did not lay down their lives for the sheep. It is not through them that you have eternal life. It is not through them that you make your way to Father God, it is only through Jesus Christ, who is the true shepherd, the good shepherd. He is the one who laid down his life for the sheep. Um, and we are to follow after him and not man. Yes, man, it is good. Like they help teach us. Well, if we're under one who's truly given the true teaching in the word of God and who is truly called of God and is of God because we know that there are some who are up there on the platform who truly are hirelings who did not come. <laughs> they did not come through Jesus. They did not come through the door. They came up some other way and they are truly robbers and thieves and they are leading so many people astray. Um, and they are not leading them and pointing them to the way of eternal life. Um, but be careful. Um, we, okay, that's where I was going, you know, it's okay to go, you know, and get the teaching and where they can help give you more understanding and stuff like that of the word of God. Um, but always remember Holy Spirit. He is the one who's going to teach us and show us all truth. And give us understanding. But we have to be in our word. To know too. If you know. The pastor. Preacher. Teacher. Apostle. Prophet. Whoever is up there teaching. Or whoever we're listening to. To make sure that they are. Actually speaking. From the word of God. And not taking it out of context. And Holy Spirit will bear witness. Whether what they are saying is of the Lord or not. Alright. So, let me get to the index card. Um, and then I just started reiterating um, a lot of the verses. Starting at verse 1. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. Verse 2, but he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Verse 3, to him the doorkeeper opens and the sheep hear his voice. And he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. Verse 4, and when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them. And the sheep follow him for they know his voice. Verse 5, yet they will by no means follow a stranger but will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. And then I wrote, We see Jesus explains that he is the door 
of the sheep in verse 7 as well as verse 9. And if anyone will enter by Jesus, they will be saved. Jesus is the only way. All other ways before Jesus and after Jesus are not the way. They are the wrong door, the wrong way. Those who are truly following after Jesus will know his voice and flee from the voice of strangers, the enemy, Satan. Verse 10. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. And then I wrote, we know that Jesus is the good shepherd and that he laid down his life for the sheep. But there are so many so-called shepherds out here that are really hirelings and they don't care about their flock that was given to them to shepherd over and they leave them exposed to the enemy, Satan, and run away. However, Jesus never leaves us, but he is always guiding us in the right direction to go and protecting us. Again, we see that a lot of Jews still didn't get it nor understood. Reread this in verse 24 through 26. Verse 24. Then the Jews surrounded him and said to him, How long do you keep us in doubt? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Verse 25. Jesus answered them, I told you. And you do not believe the works that I do in my father's name. They bear witness of me. Verse 26. But you do not believe because you are not of my sheep. As I said to you. Verse 27. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And then I wrote the, these questions. Are you known by the good true shepherd Jesus? Do you hear his voice? Are you following after Jesus, these are for me too. Jesus is the only one who can give eternal life. Are you going to be like the Jews who refuse to believe and stay blind to the truth of who Jesus Christ is? Are you going to stay in the dark? Again, there's only one door that leads to eternal life and to God the Father. And that is through Jesus Christ, God's only begotten Son. Make sure you aren't following false teachers and prophets that will lead you astray and steal from you eternal life because they are preaching on another door, another type of Jesus. They are leading you away from eternal life. They are all about themselves. Be wise who you listen to, watch, follow, or are in fellowship with. There are more hirelings out there than ever before and more wolves in sheep clothing. Let us follow closely to the true and good shepherd, which is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And may you all have a wonderful and blessed morning, noon, or night whenever you come across this video. God bless each and every one of you all. Take care. Bye.